before my program picks up your stream always. Like a minute or so after you started, but... Yeah, by the way, Carl, just, just so you understand this, if I stand still for a minute, then you can later watch me stand still for a minute. I don't know why you're thinking to catch up. No, I know. I realized the same thing later. I, I don't like... <laughs> <laughs> after after we went up, I was like, "Wait a wait a minute!" That if yeah, I, I realized the same thing, and I, I felt like an idiot <laughs> because you realized that I did upload <laughs> yeah, the video. Yeah, right? I, I know, I, I know. It, yeah. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'll still wait until you start at least. So I, I don't. You, you said that Duncan Rompa was so great. So you've been playing mobile games instead all the time. So. Uh, I didn't say it was great. I said I'm liking. You it. and Jack were making fun of me for hating it. I uh, know it, it was Tim actually, but so. No, he was make. He was saying Devil's Great is actually pretty okay. Yeah, that he also also said that. But both of you were making fun of me for hating on Duncan Rompa, which is not fair. <laughs> Terrible, well, and I'm still not able to play it for more than five minutes at a time. But I don't know. The story seems to be on par with what we usually have with Danganronpa. No, because usually we have interesting character interaction, and and if you take that away, <laughs> because every time in in Danganronpa it would also turn around my stomach when they started talking about this incident, in the one most terrible incident in human history. That's like the worst part of the game. You're saying the, it wrong. The, only the, mo the biggest, most horrible. Uh. <laughs> yeah, Carol, try saying it, saying no, it with no, a straight no, face. Do it. Actually, yeah, I want to see you do it. Like normally, that's the fault of a localization. But if you hear it in Japanese, they actually say the same thing. It's oh. just as bad. So, so either way, let's go. Let's go into this level of stuff. Um, All right, let's. Uh, you you know my. F Previous stages, right? Oh, That's finally, yeah, it's finally online for me. Okay. Uh, well, it's starting it up. Yeah, yeah you, I'll, I mean, I'll just tell you about it and you see it a bit later then. But yeah. the, the stages that I made, they have very varied success. So the very first one, I don't know if I showed you. Yeah, with very the flying blocks at the end. And then the lower right, you, you uh, low, lower left, you see how many people have. Well, you see how many attempts of beating this. Oh yeah, have been so successful. the attempts is right, the completions are is left. So uh, yeah, so so like the thing start. is, the thing is, it says, for example, in this stage that of 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 wait of forty eight uh, attempts, seventeen have been successful. So the clear rate is thirty five percent. That's that's good for that level. But the truth is, I know that's a different level than you think. I think. Uh, the truth is that 18 people have played the stage, so of those 18 people, 17 have beaten it, so it's one of the stages that worked better of the ones I made, I would say. Yeah. How many so the one like I showed you with the flying blocks, 7 yeah. of 15 people have made, have managed to beat that, so a lot less. And your metro stage? Like how, what is the completion? Well, wait, and then, and then the bullshit stage with the, with the springs that I showed you. I don't think I've seen that one. No, I showed you where, where where you have to carry the thing back and, and jump up. Oh, there. right, right. The one you hated. Only three people of 14 have been able to beat that one. <laughs> yeah, I see, I think they don't get it, and I just quit. Yeah, if you look, you can, like, you will be able to look at where they died, and, and yeah, hardly any one of them made that, it to the second floor, so... Yeah, they, they all pretty much died where you have to pick up the string, probably trying to jump up to the second floor somehow. Yeah. And dying. I feel bad for them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the Metroid stage, I opened that one. Uh, of, of 37 people who tried it, still only three have actually managed to beat it, so... Well, honestly, I'll tell you this, though. Journalists are not yeah. a good group to test, because yeah. journalists are terrible gamers. Yeah, that is true, I know. And also they're busy, and like they play a level, and if it's not right up to their expectations, they immediately quit. But Carl, I'll tell you, I'll also tell you this, um, there have been 300 attempts of beating the stage, so that means of the, of the like 40, 30 people that have tried it, they have all given it about 10 attempts, so that's not a bad stat. No, point. it's okay, but you should... Like, well, well, you're gonna remake it probably, right? For Mario Maker. Yeah. 
Probably. You should. We should at least remake Metro Cube, and and then I'll be very interested to see the stats. I don't think it will. I will still want. I want it to be a long stage just to prove my point, and it so it will still have the same stats. Well, I, we'll see. I, I feel like. Um, Let's see you actually manage to beat it. Now I'm curious. Well, like you be uh, the guy from Game Explain beat it, and I'm sure one or two more. So people have tried it. Like what? What are? All right. So so uh, Eugen from Germany managed to beat it. Hmm. And then there's Lucas who's who spammed about it in the comments, and then there's Andre from Game Explain, and that's about it. Hmm. Uh, what about your new level? Yeah, okay, let's get to that. Mm, I tried to make a couple, so I'll show you the first one now. Which is just something where I try to um, play around with with, uh, with sound effects. Oh, so this is this is just a bullshit stage more or less. So you're supposed to go into a time machine and then it takes you back in time. And you arrive here completely confused. <laughs> you recognize okay, no. this? No, well, I'm only the only level just started for me. Ah. Uh, so uh, what would this part of Mario be without the whole block? What, wait, what? Yeah, shit. Damn. Oh uh, wait, you can make it the level a little PC? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, neither did I, but... And the effect is like you're in a time machine, so it's all a little weird. Yeah... And then at the end of the stage... Oh, oh fuck, no, I died. Because I was talking. Um, at the end of the stage, a little a little obstacle. But wait, like, the, the time machine effect fades away. Yeah. But I, and then, why is the exit already here? Is it not too short? Oh, I, I'm trying to make short stage, and then it always escalates, and I make super hard long stages. I I don't know how to fix that part. Yeah, but like this, this there is barely a challenge in this stage. Like you go in. Yeah, the but that's because that's why eight of ten people have bad it, and you will see the stats of the other levels later. No, sure, but I I wouldn't think it's memorable though. Like the only thing I remember. Oh wait, there was like a weird hazy effect. Oh, didn't you did you do realize this is Mario Brothers, right? Mm hmm So that that's what you're supposed to remember. And actually later I saw that someone else has tried it, but they didn't have the pole block, so it failed. Well, oh yeah, I mean, I guess if you looked at it, it is the first stage. Like Alright, so, so the next stage I made was supposed to be story-based, and so I tried to make it super easy, but only two of six people have been able to beat it, and I don't know how to, how to progress. Well... Progress mm -hmm. that. Release it. Okay, I'll show you. Um, so the idea is that Mario is curious where ghosts come from, so he goes into the ghost house, right? Okay. And yeah, and then and you jump like like you do try, always try to get the ledge, but you always fall down. I made sure of that. So yeah, why are there so many ghosts, Mario wondered. Oh wait, you can put tax blocks in? That's my comments, actually. So there's a fuck ton of ghosts. Oh, I didn't, know, I didn't know you could put in comments. Yeah. Damn. Well, scary moment, but if you just jump, you get out of this, but most people don't seem to have figured that one out. So, uh, what? I died? I died. I feel really bad now. Oh, wait, you haven't died on my screen yet. Yeah. But, how, how did you die? Look, you wake up. Don't, I don't want you to see me like that. <laughs> wait, it does look like you're stuck in there. Oh, wait, you... You put a... Oh, well, it is a tight jump, I guess, but... It's yeah. nothing. It's dying now, oh my god. <laughs> Again? Shut up! You're killing you well no, yeah, I'm killing my story. I was I was trying to tell the story. Alright, now this this time it has to work out. The problem is these stupid 
shells that I put up there, I didn't realize they shoot bones. So, okay, either way. Back to the story. There's a fuck ton of ghosts, and Mario is wondering where the hell do so many ghosts come from. Okay. And we'll find out. Don't, and then, don't, and then don't, you don't. jump over there, and that level is finished. And Mario's like, I still don't know where the ghosts come from. But he's gonna find out. Well, don't, don't spoil it yet, because... I mean, you're not nearly there for me. And now I, now I want to know where you come from. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay, so you climbed the plant, you completed the stage, he's walking. Oh, wait, you can't just you fall down. Ah. Uh, and you die? Ah, uh, that's where the ghosts come from, Carl. <laughs> From the pit? Oh! From all the Mario's! Oh, I get I get Oh, God. <laughs> it's good. It's pretty good. <laughs> I don't think anyone will get it, though. <laughs> yeah, sadly. Because all of the comments disappear when you finish the stage, so so that doesn't help. Uh, <laughs> maybe if, if you could somehow... Like, can you put up signs? No. The, the comments are the most you can do. Like, no, but like, can you put up a sign? Like a danger sign, for example. No. So either way, then I got frustrated and I wanted to make a stage that everyone could beat, and it seems I have succeeded because I have 8 of 8 people that managed to do this. Of course, it's a very simple stage, and actually a very terrible one. I put everything I hate in there. Uh, restrictive time limit, water, terrible narrow holes that are a nightmare to navigate. It's an underwater labyrinth, more or less. And as you can see, there are these coin blocks. I'll just take the right path right away, so we get this over with. I don't know why I just can't make a simple straight through map without any bullshit. Well, like, maybe that's just not your strength as a designer. <laughs> you, you know I, what I, I want to learn it, so I want to make an easy stage that's still fun. I will succeed one day. No, but like, you know what you should do, actually? Make another huge stage based on an Nintendo franchise. Nah. That's what you should do. M and then, and like, then, and then, like people would, would, like it could be advertised as from the maker of Metroid View. Um, okay, so so either way, this is like this is like a stage that everyone can beat, and so far everyone has beaten it. So I'm proud. I succeeded. And then there's two more stages that that I'm actually kind of proud of. So they are like supposed to be part of the story. So the last part is still missing. And in the first, in the first level, you. You go on some ship that's transporting ice somewhere, and it's a classical ship stage. And I try to really uh, get the easy into the mechanics that I wanted you to use. So there's no blocks. Oh, I already died. There's no blocks everywhere, so you really get the timing down for the for the really difficult parts of the stage. Mm -hmm. And in between, you know, like just some ice blocks and some mobs. Uh, like this, is, this seems very doable, except so bit. far. Uh, I think only one guy has been able to beat this so far. So uh, I don't know. Well, like that's one of the maybe the flaws of Mario Maker is too easy to give up and move on to a different level. So okay, there I built in a little shortcut. That's kind of cool. You don't have to go there, but it makes it everything much easier as well. Go into this pipe, and then you get one of the cloud bonus stages that are to for Mario. And you can earn an extra life, and which is much more useful than Fire Flower, because there will be some Hammer Brothers uh, down the path. Yeah. And because you went into the pipe, you don't have to go the, into the nightmare section up there where you have the, the Beatles and the, the note box. But I wanted to see the nightmare section. <laughs> <laughs> well, the worst is still to come. So I've been using note blocks all this stage. So I ah, uh, oops, I forgot about that. So 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 I get like the timing, and it, it becomes something that I'm used to. 
Uh, which I'm still not. Okay, now I actually need to focus because this is tough. <laughs> it's not tough, but I'm seeing it with so far. Hey, I already died. Shit. Really that hard? I mean, that's... <laughs> yeah, well, I will. I will manage. Well, this is this is a harder level at least. Well, I think it's just a classic ship type level, and yeah, I mean, sure, but like again, you... only one guy was able to beat it, so that that tells you about who you were making levels for, right? Well, like I can I can see why it's not that easy. the The problem is, Roger, do you, you know that those bouncy blocks? You jump once the block is bouncing back. Yeah, they're jumping too early all the time. That's why I make you practice that for a whole stage. But, like, you still need practice yourself. <laughs> oh, shut up! Usually I can do it. It's just because you're watching. I'm nervous because you're watching, that's all. <laughs> I mean, that excuse doesn't work on ladies and it won't work on me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but the cool thing is because of the sound effects, I could put in the bonus level music in the clouds, so... So kind of like, you can also put a boss music somewhere, which is kind of cool. I didn't know that when I made the Metroid stage. Oh, yeah. But it's cool that you can also put in the bonus music. Honestly, though, you should think about making Zelda U. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Or Zelda 2 U, I guess. <laughs> No, but like Zelda U is an app, you can just claim it for yourself. Zelda U. Yeah, I don't know. But people are making really cool puzzle stages, I've noticed. So, there's that. Mm, yeah, that'd be interesting too, but I think your strength lies in those bigger, sprawling stages. Are you saying my stages suck, Carl? I'm saying your short stages are not interesting. Wait, I need to focus. I see you're making triple sure on every jump. Ah, Forget the high jump and not the short jump. Okay, now I did it. <laughs> Gee, uh, no, like I, I see what you're doing. You're jumping three times, so you're making triple sure you have the correct high jump. <laughs> Shut up, man! You don't trust your skills at all. Like you, you have to make super sure. <laughs> yeah, one day you will have the game, and then then we can watch you play and fail. I'm I'm actually really good at Mario. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so either way, one, only one guy has beaten that. And now I'll show you the last one. And I actually really, I made that one today and I really, really like it. So, so all the ice you just saw on the transport is going to the Bobon factory, where it's been used to manufacture Bobons. Oh, they're connected, they're like, in lore? <laughs> and this is, yeah, yeah, <laughs> super deep lore. And, and this is like... Uh, also a like, stage where I wanted to introduce the player to the mechanics that I'll be using, which is the bombs and ice blocks and uh, the, the many belts, I don't know what they're called. Hmm. So, so, right from the start... <laughs> oh, that's a good oh yeah, I was curious, like, did your Metroid level end up getting a, a lot of stars? And, like, um, like getting 10 stars future? so far. So, you, no one liked it? Like... Well, I like of forty people, I got four ten stars, so I guess not. And but like, how much many? How many do you need to, to get featured? I don't know. This you, you get featured easily, but I would not. think all the coverage your your level had, it would get featured. But I look. I think I think the Metroid stage kind of breaks the system, so I have no idea if the system really recommends that to anyone to play it. I think everyone who played it just put in the code that I put on the YouTube video. Yeah, but I don't know. I... Okay, I hit the I hit the mushroom over there. I'll pick that up real quick because I will probably need it. The one mushroom? No. Oh, wait, okay. so. And now we start with the with the mechanic. 
which is pretty much delivering bull bombs to the target. And it's actually pretty tricky to hit them because they ha they will have a different walking speed than usual and you are also trying to fight it that belt. Oh yeah, so you keep yeah, you keep sending them. Okay, yeah, I get it. This is a little puzzly. Oh, uh, maybe. But I did show you like even if you just jump on one up there, it will show you what you're supposed to do, so be easy to figure out. Yeah, I mean, seems to be very nimble all around. Yep. Oh shit, no. I hope I don't die again. Either way, somehow I really like this mechanic. Yes, like the, the, I like this. Uh, I, I like levels that have kind of newish ideas. And also, I, I really like the music in this stage, because it's a new music since Super Mario Brothers never had a ghost house. Oh, I really like this mechanic. Oh, why? Yeah, I, I, I can't hear the music very well. I have, I have to turn the volume down. <laughs> oh, I see. Alright, I hit... <gasps> oh, oh, I did bad. Okay, never mind. There was a hidden section. We don't need to see that. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, what? Like you mean the pipe? Yeah. You can get up there. <laughs> oh, you know what? Actually, I I made one more stage, but I don't dare to upload it. I'll show you that one real quick. <laughs> oh God! Is it even? <laughs> Try to guess. What what did I do? I I just I think I can upload it. <laughs> You just clear the other course, the bulb on factory. So but what kind of stage is it, Carl? Well, what do you think I made? Uh, a very short stage with two very difficult jumps, maybe. No. God, what what kind of boring answer was that? All right. All right. I made I made an Ivata stage. Oh god. I respect Ivata stage. I'll, I'll show you how that works. Um, so the music goes out and you have to stand still for half a minute to respect, to show your respect, you know. Uh, I think it's cute, but I, I think it's also tasteless, so I wouldn't upload it. <laughs> but like, do you have like a comment so they know they're standing still for Iwata? Yeah, I would add a comment if I uploaded it, which I won't. But you can't comment on stages that are not uploaded, obviously. And this is like half a minute? Yeah, a few seconds. Nah, this is too short. Yeah, the problem is I can make it longer if you look at it. Like, this is the max maximum height of the stage. Hmm. Yeah, well... I think... It's not too bad, you could do it. <laughs> You want to see some of the other stages that I saw, that I found so far? There yeah, like show me one you really liked. Oh, uh, I don't know about that. But okay. Yeah, yeah, I show you. Like, I, I liked a lot of them. So just not, like for example, I really like this one here, but it's just it's long. It's really long. <laughs> How many people have been able? Five of thirteen. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Well, I guess I'll show you. It's. It's a puzzle stage called Madhouse. Well, it sounds good. It but is. also, it's only the chap chapter one, not the chapter two. I have no idea. I guess the guy will make more. I hope so because it's really cool. Yeah, well, that's the thing I want. Like, I want multiple stages length. <laughs> What, so it has the heartbeat effect all the way through? Yeah. Oh, I should have done... Wait, I am going back. And what's so good about the stage? <laughs> well, it's, it's a puzzle stage. Haven't you noticed that I'm passing through the same room all over again? Not yet. Like you went to one, two, and now three. Yeah, well, that's all... Ah, Carl. Oh wait, well now you're back. Well, this is not my, that's not my fault. 
You shouldn't be grabbing the coins as much because you won't be able to remember which room this is. I'll remember that I've already been there, which is better. Oh, oh shit. Oh, you did well grabbing that mushroom. What? I wouldn't have guessed that was for a plant. <laughs> I would have I would have guessed you have to fall downstairs. And uh it's okay. No. That's well, it's weird. something you just have to experiment with, I guess. Mm, well, like, that seemed oh, that seemed cool, but otherwise, I'm not seeing a lot. All right, hit the blocks. You're taking that shell with you forever. Are you, of course, originally I had to figure all of this out. Which was Wait, does like you know how you have to take the shell? Well, what that's do you mean? Like, no, like I, that's just like a lot of trouble, like um, get, taking the shell everywhere with you. Oh no! I remember barely passing this part. Ah, uh, okay, well, yeah, that I showed you enough. There's another puzzle room. Well, now you're with the wizard, finally. Something new is happening. Oh, he breaks the little wall. Alright, check out the next one. It's called press right and run. <laughs> oh, you, oh, wait, you just died oh, in this one. Oh, I have to say, no, you died. So in the next stage, all I'll be doing is pressing right and running, and <laughs> it's really cool. That's also pretty interesting. Some of the timings are really cool, but I'm, I'm, I'm all thought out. Wow! That, that must have taken a lot of work, because yeah. you were... like, The only thing you do is press right? Yeah. That's all. Yep. Nothing else. Well, and running. Alright. <laughs> but... Wow! <laughs> no way! Yeah, pretty cool, right? That's impressive. It's not easy to do this. And yeah, there's another, actually, like, so something similar where I don't have to press anything at all. You're liking these stages where you don't have to do very little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, I do. But, I mean, so there's something very aesthetic about them, I think. Man. It meant, like it, it, if this lazy journals come come up with all these pretty cool ideas, I, I can't wait to see what the general people will do. Yeah. This one is also pretty good, though a little bit more basic. Yeah, was so cool. But I I I think you can be sure that there will be a lot of stages like this when the game comes out. Because I've seen things like that with with done with regular Mario editor, so yeah. Well, I wouldn't it's like mind playing one there. once in a while. Oh, I'll show you one of the boss battles that I really like. It's called Bowser's Lottery. <laughs> so you're basically trapped. Okay, wait. Uh, you're basically trapped, and you have to find a mushroom to get out while Bowser shoots fire at you. Yeah, yeah, oh. What was that? Mm. A thing fell down from my desk. 
a box. A game box. Mm. I, don't, I don't know what to do when you lose the mushroom, though. I guess then it's game over. Wait, so, but is it randomized? No. But, you know, I got this stage when I was playing the 100 life thing, so... So it was like, it came at the end and it was a very nice conclusion, actually. So it, mm. it's not like I knew it or could see it or anything. Mm. I wish it was randomized, because it, once you know... Yeah, not... but if it just shows up randomly in, your, in the like, stages you play, it works out. Yeah, it's cool. It's a, it's it's perfect for this is what I mean. This is like a very good short level that you can seem able to make move. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Mm. That you know you know what's funny? This is something I really like. Um, <laughs> I'll I'll try to shout you race, I think that was kinda cool. Um if you, you you can post negative comments, you know. <laughs> oh, you know who the I know who the made that level, Bowser's Lottery. It's, uh, if it's Griffin, and he's from the US, it's Griffin McElroy from Polygon. And I know who this guy is as well. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming he's JC Fletcher. It's creepy, Carl. Either way, ah oh shit, I did, how did I do that last time? Um, so what did I want to say? I was saying something before you spoke of that. Um, you were explaining the level? I don't remember what I was trying to say. Shit. Oh, I'm not supposed to do that. God, this was much easier last time. What's wrong with that? What are you doing? Like, I can't tell what you're doing wrong. What is supposed to happen? The level is called Race to Shell, so... Oh, you're supposed to beat the shell and race? Whoa, okay. Well, you won. Yeah. Maybe you're supposed to throw it once you are farther in. Because Super Mario Brothers one, you can't throw anything. I bet it. Don't worry. What? You don't even have to raise it. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, right. I was telling you about you know you can post any negative comments mm. because that, I think it's kind of brilliant actually uh, because if you if you paste if you uh, post a comment you automatically like the level. <laughs> well, sure, but you could still say I didn't like it. Yeah, but the guy will get a star then. You don't want it if you didn't like the level, right? Mm, I don't know if that's brilliant or just a little. <laughs> I, I mean, it's 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 of course it's kind of stupid, but at the same time, this makes sure that, that, that there will never be too like like lots of flaming going on or anything. I think it's interesting, a very Nintendo thing to do, you know. This level seems also okay with the shell and the thing. Yeah, that was also a puzzle level. Yeah, I guess there are a lot of. I wouldn't call it a puzzle, more like a gimmick level. Yeah, it was still cool somehow. Well, yeah, like you have to come up with it, and that's not that easy. Well, uh, I, I started up Witcher 3 and. Holy shit, it's good. Uh, did you finish Witcher 2 even? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, Witcher 3... Well, only just looking at the graphics is pretty mind-blowing. And... Man, the, it just... It, it's a very interesting open world. If I compare it to something like Skyrim, the difference is staggering. And like in Witcher, if you find like a random little thing to do, it is always at least a little bit interesting. Yeah, I read about that. Whereas in Skyrim, but you don't have to tell me. I know that Witcher Three is good. I'll play it eventually. But they should be higher in your priority list. 
it's the same thing as with Dim. I don't have the time or energy right now. You have the time and the energy. Neither. <laughs> well, maybe maybe the energy, but you do have not the energy, but you do have the time. Like how many time are you spending with Mario? Yeah, but Mario Maker t takes no energy to whoa. Uh, uh, I know who made this level as well. <laughs> <laughs> so who is it, Paul? Uh, Don uh, is a Dutch guy who works for Nintendo World Report. Why do you know everyone? It's like I said, it's. I don't know. Well, I guess I just read the the journalist names or stuff I read, and there's a number. I barely remember how you were called. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Birds? Birds? It's only a bird background appears on your screen. Yeah, that's one of the sound effects. No. I guess people are starting to use them now, it's kind of annoying actually. Yeah, it seems very gimmicky. Oh, now it's a... Oh, it's a oh. Now it's a disco, or something? Disco tech. Alright. <laughs> That's it. I am not patient today. You've never been patient. Except when it comes to Landstar, but then suddenly you're like a saint. Or some weird... Oh man, we still need to finish that, Carl. I haven't forgotten. No, me neither. That's why... That's why I uh, mentioned it. Yeah, but it's win it's not a summer game, Carl. That that's why we haven't been playing. Uh. See how you easily skipped it like just like that? Yeah. How many skips do you have? Can you skip them all? <laughs> it should keep it should try to keep track of that now that you mention it. No, but like do you know? Because if you can just skip them all, what's the point of endless Mario or like the uh, eight eight stages or well, how many stages? Sixteen? Yeah. Can you skip all 16? No, no, you have to do a different one instead. So oh. you still have to finish 16. But, did you see how easily you play it? Wow, see, that, that's what I mean, like, like the, uh, the, 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 le the levels are always so boring and generic somehow. The, the, the crazy ones never make it into this mode. This one seems okay. What? I mean, it's, it's really boring. It's... yeah. I've seen worse. Like this, this level has that. Oh, there's plants everywhere, little gimmick, but it's not done interestingly. No, you're right. It was pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping for more at the end, but it didn't. The rope jump contest. I've heard that before. I think I feel it that station. Oh shit! No. Oh. Okay. I need to be so careful. There's like, like. Oh. Ah. Oh, okay. I see where this is going. Ah. <laughs> this is kind of funny. Mother, I did, I did, I did <laughs> yeah, know. I like this stage. This one gets a star. Okay. Oh, wait, I see where this is going. Yeah. <laughs> so, the, the thing is, with the embargo, it's really unfair. Some things are under embargo that are random, you know? So, so you can't even like if they happen on a stream, it's like whatever I supposed to do, like like yeah, time back and, and make it not happen. Or <laughs> I guess they're just saying don't show it off too much. If it happens, it happens, but don't showcase it. Well, most of the things are out there already, anyways. But I've seen that they've been taking down videos. Oh look, there he has a photo. Yeah, that, that's a great piece of information while I'm playing 100 man Mario. Well, I haven't known who the last three people were. So wow, I'm, I'm like, like... How... Oh, I, I see, this is, yeah, this is also a cool boss battle, I've right? played that before. But, okay, the only thing he added is sound effects. Yeah, well, I don't... Also, know. why doesn't he delete his old level, then? Or can't you uh, do that? I have no idea, I haven't tried yet. So yeah, the idea is that you have to fight him until you can get to the bottom. 
I would just try to jump on his head or is that not possible? No, now I have to wait for him to get down and break the blocks here as well. Wait, yeah. he's not burnable on his head? No. But now that all the junior is down here, this is getting kind of unfair. Jump! Ah! No! What? This is like the other cool boss that I found. I thought it was great. It reminds me of Spelunky. I don't know if you played Spelunky. Not yet. Maybe it was inspired by the. There's a boss battle in Spelunky where. I don't think it was inspired because it's. You know, it's hard to make a boss here because you can never trigger when it's beaten. No, but that's what, kind of what I mean. The boss in Spelunky. He destroy. He, you have to bait him into destroying blocks, so he falls down to a lower level. Oh, I see. But why wouldn't you take the inspiration for this stuff? What? Spin? Can you spin in New Super Mario Brothers? Hmm. Yeah. I didn't even know that. Oh yeah, you can. I I told you last time. We talked about it. You say so many things, Carl. <laughs> I can listen to all of them. Oh ah, yeah, it works. Oh shit. Oh my god, what is this? Oh shit. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it! How is it? What? I don't quite get what I can do here. Can you just kill the plants with the things? Whoa! Uh, oh, so I could have spinned maybe. Well, yeah, it's like always spin. Yeah, you're taking too early. So, do you know the guy who made this stage? Uh, let's see, no. Dauko? Come on, no, if, the, if they're using, like, nicknames or whatever, I can, know. Um... Oh, Carl, that's just an excuse, and you know it. <laughs> that one! Okay, I've had it. But you'll have to be a different. This is a good. This is finally a good challenging level where you have to actually platform a little. Yeah, space. so I'm skipping it. <laughs> it's not that hard. Platforming is so last century. <sighs> yeah, I've played. You know, also the the game should keep track of which levels I've already played because I've already played this one. What? Some guy made it? How did he do that? Ah, oh, man, I don't get it. You can't get yeah. down there, you see, because there's no floor. And I have no idea how that guy went down to this pipe and posted a comment. Damn! Uh, wall jump? There's no wall jump in Super Mario Bros. 1. Nah, there should be a way. Maybe you get a power up uh, over in the stage. Alright, I'll play one more and then I think I'll call it a day. Because I still need to play Dungan Rampa. Well, I still need to sleep. <laughs> it's been a busy day. Did you notice that that, pro, uh, that, that Ishan doesn't need to work on Saturdays after all? Well, you say that, but he still worked uh, until 7 o'clock. That's the first week. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> he also didn't need to work on Saturdays for Sleeper and he still did. Okay, well, I'm not going to finish on that stage. I forgot to rate the, the rope stage, but I think I can find it again. Well, how interested are you in boats? <laughs> <laughs> well, take a guess. I don't know, maybe it's one of your secret hobbies. 
No. Well, I'm gonna tell you a bug story anyway. Did you know that in Amsterdam, just this, this past week, uh, there was an event called SAIL? It's the biggest boating event in the world. Why in Amsterdam? Because we have a... Well, I don't know. We have, all, Amsterdam has a culture with boats. You know how they conquered the world once? The boats. So what Ah, happens, yeah, right. Totally. What happens is, for this event, uh, thousands of boats come to Amsterdam and, like, just parade around. The, it's kind of weird, because... They just go round and round like thousands of boats. And, 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 and did you from, go to see them or what? It's from very big to super small. And today was the last day, so there were they had to leave. And uh, my my stepdad rented a boat so we could be in the water while they were leaving. And. We were there, and like it was pretty okay, but you wouldn't believe how many people were standing on, on the, like outside of the water watching. Apparently, six hundred. So you got people. a boat, so you could watch the peasants that were standing on. Yeah, the no, I, I really felt like they were filming because they were just standing there for hours, and I'm talking and six hundred thousand people. <laughs> did you bring? Did you bring rock and axe to throw at them? <laughs> my my what? Rock and axe to throw at them. No. They weren't that close, but like, they were waving to us, and we were like, oh, hello. Yeah, you should have thrown something at them. Like empty, <laughs> empty, empty Prosecco bottles or something. Also, there uh, there were some shitty kids, kids on another boat that had water guns, and they were uh, shooting on people uh, in other boats. Oh, that was okay, well, <laughs> shooting on other boats is, is boring, but shooting on the passengers on the side, that would have been fun. Yeah! I thought you mentioned an extra bug, water gone to and shit peasants. <laughs> it's always next time. Well, man, five years. Wait, five years? So it's, it's only... Only only once every five years. Oh. That's why it's so big yeah. and important, man. <laughs> so we were on the water all day. To be fair, we had a, a cooler with beer. So. What? A cool box with beer. Uh, what about the weed? Uh, my grandparents were on the boat, so... Yeah, that's, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> she actually gave a sermon to me and my brother that we shouldn't do drugs. <laughs> really? That is so cute. <laughs> Without knowing, we do that. But, well, she suspects anyway. <laughs> and Renee was there too, and I was, and I was, and I was telling her, "But do you even know who does the most drugs here? It's Renee." <laughs> and well, yeah, like she loves, and my grandma, like she loves Renee. And she goes, "No, you're lying." <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to ask about that actually. Yes, but it's, it's it. but it's the truth actually. <laughs> no, they met a lot of times so. <laughs> And she was pressing Renee actually that about a a kid. No, oh. <laughs> that's good. Like, yeah, I felt a little bit like Ishan. Would feel probably embarrassed, squeezed. No, like the grandma putting pressure on. <laughs> This level seems, seems a little tough, but that's only because you're, you're losing that uh, propeller motion. If you can keep it, this level should be a breeze. Yeah. Just fly! Why, why even challenge those cannonballs? Or pick up the flower, just keep flying. So did, so did your grandparents only come for that event? Well, um, that was the excuse to come, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, now it's the last level, and then I'm done. Short but mean, that sounds promising. Yeah, it's a great start. That's good. What? Yeah. 
I kind of want him to leave. <laughs> Your pa uh, grandparents. A little boy. <laughs> what have they done to you? No, nothing, but uh, showing people around, like, you have to just do that all day. Oh, one day a week. No, no, like, I've been doing it since Thursday. Oh, that's where you've been now, I see. Yeah. Hey, Sean was really sad. I noticed. <laughs> I read it. Oh my god, what have I- No! Nah! This is- this is- I have to- I don't- I think this is one of the things... Whatever that just was. <laughs> Renee starts work tomorrow. <laughs> Her vacation is over. Ah, uh, uh, I'm so glad for you, Carl. <laughs> You, you but, will be back to your normal self soon. But in two weeks, she lives to Vienna, so... Oh yeah, right, you have to tell her to meet me up, but she probably won't have time, right? No, well, she might. She's there for five days. Oh, well then, I thought she would be only there for two days, and then you uh, have I to go that you're eating gonna... with these people and stuff like that. She has, like, Congress during the day, and uh, she's free at night. Well, that sounds like... I can show her where she can get weed here. <laughs> oh my god, she might actually take you up to love that. <laughs> Although, actually, it's really dif difficult right now because we have elections in Vienna and and as a result there's police, like, it's crazy. They have police station everywhere so you feel safe, you know, so you vote for the right people. They have done a good job. So, so you they're, have, cleaning, like, they're cleaning up Vienna? Like, like some bum lies in the bushes somewhere sleeping and, and, and five five policemen go there to fish him out, you know, and get rid of it's, him, it's really ridiculous. 